Hello everyone, finally I'm online. Uh, so please, um, yeah, I see that <laughs> so many people here are online already. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, so um, now let's check the um, video and the sound. Please write something in the comment section if everything is okay. So just maybe any smile or you can just write that you see me and you hear me and I can understand that we will continue. So uh, yeah, hi, hi, good evening. Yeah, we have somewhere good evening, somewhere we have uh, good morning. So actually I also have uh, evening. Yeah, hi from uh, New Jersey, from India. Hello, hello, yeah. <laughs> hi, Swedish viewer here, UK viewers here. Hi. Okay, uh, so I think that uh, everything is okay and we can switch to the second screen and we will start today's uh, Your Works review. Uh, yeah, I see and hear you. Great. Yeah. Okay. So I will change the screen. And again, just um, if you don't see me occasionally, just uh, write something in the comment section, but I'm sure that you will see everything well. I have prepared all the uh, works uh, in one folder here in my Instagram. So many beautiful works. Actually, I was surprised uh, that you are continuing uh, drawing so actively and so passionately, really. Uh, the doors and the autumn leaves, they are all awesome. You are doing great, actually. And I want to say one more thing here. I want to... Um, cheer up people who are just beginning, uh, who are just, uh, well, starting their journey in drawing, you are doing great. So you are really, really great. I love how you did the lightning effect here. So the lights uh, that we have here uh, near the lantern, you did great. Well, everyone, actually, I can just open any picture, any drawing, and I can say that light that you did here uh, near the lantern and inside the lantern, well, you just did great, everyone. This one also really very nice, very beautiful. I love the uh, washes here that you did, the yellow color and how you've made the wall. So for example, maybe this one also, I really love the lights and the wall. Here as well, we have really bright and interesting colors here. And the light is also very beautiful. Actually, all, all the paintings, all the drawings, they are really beautiful. And the next thing I liked the most here, and actually not just liked, but I like also now as well, uh, that you um, changed the door color. So somewhere I can see the uh, blue color, somewhere I can see the red or maybe the purple or the pink color, that's great. So, for example, here we can see the uh, bright blue color, really beautiful one. And uh, maybe this door is also really very interesting. The red color plus uh, white lines here, light wooden lines, uh, wooden structure here on the door really looks very interesting. So you are doing great. Uh, changing color is a nice thing when you are starting uh, your journey in drawing and of course you can do it anytime. So uh, if you are drawing on any my tutorial, on any my lesson, that's great when you are changing the color of anything, of the door, of the leaves actually. You can also change the color of the leaves. Uh, of course we have here the autumn leaves, but you can also uh, do the same thing with the yellow and greens and it will be very beautiful as well. So you are really nice in color changing and here we have a very beautiful purple color. Really uh, love this one. 
Uh, let me just show you um, several more interesting doors. I really love this one because here we have the different uh, shape of the door and I really love your <laughs> additions uh, with this tree and with the pumpkins. They are actually really great and they are uh, 3D like. They are, well, well they're really uh, very good drawn. And I also like uh, your uh, lightning effects here. Maybe this one, also the uh, turquoise door, or maybe the green door, really also very nice. And I also like uh, your lantern and your, uh, well, leaves, your, uh, uh, your variation of the leaves, also oh, the great color as well. So blue color, also very beautiful. As you can see, so different in drawing so different in color but all of them are really nice beautifully done um, and now i want to move on uh, to the um, things that i need that i think uh, well some of you should correct but only a bit because um, i well don't see too much of the mistakes here uh, actually one main mistake uh, is about the leaves here not exactly on this <laughs> on this drawing I'm just showing yours uh, as an example but I also uh, want to show you several more uh, and before I start I want to look at your comments and maybe um, if you have some questions uh, you can just uh, ask me uh, right now in the comment section as well uh, yeah. Hi from New York, uh, good morning, busy Canada. Hi everyone, I can't write posts in Instagram, posted a reel, hope uh, you have seen it. Uh, well, yeah, uh, actually I'm looking uh, after every, every uh, uh, your, of your sketches, but it is, impo uh, it is sometimes impossible to look... Um, um, to catch everyone and to get everyone here in my folder because I don't know why but Instagram is not giving me the whole picture sometimes. I really try to do this, I really try to find every uh, post you are doing, every uh, reel or every uh, sketch you are posting but if you are not here in this folder please do not be upset and of course if i don't uh, well just shown your picture or your drawing also do not be upset because it is sometimes impossible to to show all the pictures because they are too many too many you're so active thank you very much for all of your activity and uh thank you so much for your participation that is really very important for me thank you but please do not be upset because it is physically impossible <laughs> sometimes i uh, yeah oh the teal door is gorgeous yeah i love the teal doors as well we have a great teacher so we did a good job thank you uh, i wonder if you have seen my art has to arrived well, I actually do this um, set, this folder, uh, maybe half an hour ago. That's why if you have just posted, I won't see it right now. Uh, try to post it a bit earlier. So um, maybe half an hour or maybe the hour before the uh, works review. Because I'm looking um, through all of your sketches, uh, through all of your uh, posts uh, in Instagram beforehand. So I'm, I'm doing the beforehand work here. I'm not just opening the hashtag and uh, seeing all the works. I'm uh, just collecting them into a special folder here. So great. I hope you will get some um, useful and helpful um, insights now because now I'm going to uh, speak about some points that I think not all of you but some <laughs> works, uh, some um, points in your drawing, maybe you can do them a bit better. I'm sure you can do them better if you practice uh, and they will be good, really good. So let's start with the uh, leaves and with the um, appearing of the shadows on these leaves. First of all, I want to um, 
say uh, that you are doing well with the shape with the contour of the leaves you are doing great so i can also open any any door any sketch and i really love the shape and the contour and the silhouette of these leaves they are really nice done uh, but sometimes i can see that the um uh transition from the light color to the darker color here so we have the yellow uh, on the leaves we have the yellow part and then we go to the shadow part as you can see for example on this sketch i really love the color of the door and i really love your lantern and the light and the shadows as well uh, but on the leaves here we have just the just the uh, line that divides the uh, light area and the dark area on the leaves so just the well life uh, line uh, goes uh, through entire uh, piece of uh, this uh, this kind of a leaf bench or leaf branch as you can see so we have definitely the light part and we have definitely uh, vi uh, visible dark part uh, well it's not a big mistake it's not a big mistake it's okay but it will be better if you um, uh, try to uh, do the soft uh, transition from the lighter color uh, from the yellow color to the darkest uh, colors that you have here for example uh, through the oranges uh, so you start with the uh, yellow then you go to the oranges and then you only uh, adding uh, a bit of the red and only then the darkest color like brown or something like this so try to uh, make this softer transition from one color to another uh, from the lighter area to the dark area mm, maybe the same thing here i really love the door i really love the lantern so it is the real <laughs> okay so i hope you uh, see this uh, as well and here uh also we can uh, see that the uh, dark maybe i can just stop it yeah uh, so uh, you can see that the darkest parts of the branches they are just so visible they are so visible you can see the line like the um, yellow part and then the dark part you can see it and uh, for example the uh, branches that are at the top at uh, the left top part i think you should add a bit more of the shadows there on this area so just add and try to make a smooth smooth soft transition from one color from the yellow color then to the oranges and only then to the red and uh, well and of course to the brown uh, let me tell you about this work as well i think you should add well a bit more of the shadows on each branch try to add uh, with small strokes and of course try to make the soft transition to the lighter areas i think you should start with the yellow uh, from the light parts then you go down for example at the top parts of the uh, branches then you go down and you just try to add the uh, oranges on your palette so you uh, pick the yellow uh, then you're adding some strokes on your work then you are adding a bit of the orange uh, on your palette mix and then you go and add the same color on your uh, branches and only then you are adding the darkest color for example the red or maybe the brown mm, try to do this and i think your shadows will be great okay now let's move on and the same thing here so i love your lantern i love the bricks i love the wall i like the door maybe you should try to make the lines on the door a bit uh, more clean a bit, uh, a bit less messy uh, but the uh, colors are great and uh, the same thing for the leaves they should be um, with the soft transitioning from the lighter areas to the dark areas uh, by the way i really love uh, your comments that you are uh, writing in the posts in, in your instagram post that's really 
uh, very nice uh, thank you so much for your feedback it's really interesting for me to read them and they are really so inspiring i love that you are thinking about the mentioning me about um uh, well just uh, tagging my two accounts thank you so much uh, for, for this uh, here also I really love the lantern, I really love the bricks, I really love the door and here it is the great example of soft transitioning um, from the yellow color to the oranges and then to the red. So no mistakes here, I really love this work, you're doing great actually. Uh, so uh, this uh, was the first thing I uh, would like to um, tell you today, the same thing here, so uh, a bit more uh, of soft transitioning from the uh, yellow then to the oranges and then to the dark uh, areas let me see your comments and then i can continue so um uh, she showed my picture <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm really happy that you are happy, actually. <laughs> One minute of happiness, thank you. <laughs> um, it was uh, 4 p.m. Well, if you are posted on 4 p.m., I hope your work is here. I hope it is here. I have difficulty painting uh, leaves on trees and plants. They end up overworked in a muddy blob. Uh, that means that maybe you are using too much of the water sometimes and the first color is not that um, dry for the next one. And try not to uh, go up when you are uh, starting with the yellow color, so you are doing the up part with the yellow. Uh, then you go to the middle part of uh, the branch, for example. Let me show you this one. So you see here, Again, I love this one. I really love this one. I really love the transition. Here again is the uh, nice uh, example of soft transition. So you can see that we have the clear yellow color, then the clear orange color, and then the dark. When you are um, making the yellow, then you go down and try not to return to the yellow part. Try to make it with the one uh, stroke, with one effort, with one um, one time. Well, yeah, with one stroke, just one with one stroke, maybe two strokes. Try not to overload it with several um, actions, uh, several movements, or with different color. So yellow is yellow. Uh, then you are just adding orange, and orange is in the middle. Try not to uh, go uh, to the top part, to the upper part and uh, mess all the colors together. So uh, the yellow, then the orange, and then at the bottom you are adding the uh, darker colors. Of course, we did the second layer when we are adding the uh, darker uh, strokes, but try not to um, overdo it, of course. We are just adding a bit of the darker spots and we are adding them on the dry paper. If your color is uh, not dry, for example, from the first layer, of course it can be messy. Of course, you can just make the whole <laughs> branch, the whole uh, part of uh, any branch look uh, like one color, just mixed together with the dark and with the yellow color together. So I think that's the point uh, of practice um, and of thinking uh, whether your um, first stroke is okay or not. And if it is not okay, try to uh, correct it with the same color. So if you don't like the yellow, you can just correct it with slightly orangey color, not the dark color. And the dark color usually, usually is much more active than the lighter color. Uh, so I have one um, secret and yeah, I, I hope uh, you'll um, think of it later. Uh, well, not actually that's my secret, but um, it, uh, it came out of my practice, actually. It came out of my practice. So the yellow color is uh, slightly weaker, weaker than the uh, red color. And when you are adding uh, the active red color, it can just, well, 
eat the yellow. Just eat the yellow. Uh, often, oftentimes it happens uh, because uh, just the of the chemical uh, features of the yellow and of the red color. So just just pay attention to this uh, small thing. Okay, uh, I had trouble uh, on Acorn's project and leaves above the door. When blending from light to dark, I lose the light, uh, so everything gets pretty dark. Too much shadow. Uh, yeah, it is again the uh, issue of the practice. So uh, when you are adding the dark color, it can really, really just uh, cover everything because uh, dark colors, they are much more active than the lighter colors. The same thing. Uh, yeah, I say my leaves lose their lightness. Well, um, that's not that bad. It's not just a big mistake. Uh, just keep this in mind and try uh, the next time not to overload the light areas. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone from Greece. Uh, hello. Uh, I seem to have been doing this same mistake. Oh, okay, so I, I really appreciate that you are just noticing uh, the things that you um, maybe found difficult. Uh, that's really great uh, for you as a student, as a uh, person who wants to learn. Uh, that's really nice. So the ability to notice uh, exactly things that you are missing or you are found you you find uh, difficult is a great ability. You are doing well with this. I love every drawing. Yeah, I also love every drawing as well. It's really difficult. Uh, the transition of what's a color. I do not uh, know if it's because of the paper or the brush, but. Uh, is like when I place the color, they are faint and do not do the lines, but uh, they spread. <laughs> well, uh, please just send me your uh, work in the direct messages uh, on my Instagram and I will look. But I think it is because of the uh, too much, well, a big amount of water. So you're actually, I think, uh, adding too much of the water. I think that my leaves is like flames, uh, not leaves. <laughs> it's okay. I really love the flames. I really love uh, drawing the flames and the uh, well lights. It's really nice. And the strokes that we have applied for the leaves, they are actually looking like the flames. Uh, yeah, if you don't like this effect, you can do uh, a bit different strokes, maybe not that uh, long and tall. You can try the dots method. You are just pointing the dots, not the lines, not the short lines, but the dots. Uh, I think, uh, okay, so yeah, the same thing. Uh, let's move on. And here I can also say that you should add a bit more of the shadows on the leaves and everything will be okay. Everything will be great. Let's move on. And I want to um, point out some works that are uh, also um, uh, will be great if uh, the shadows will be added a bit on the leaves. So the same thing, I will add a bit of the shadows on the leaves. Mm, the same here, a bit of the shadows on the leaves. We can see that uh, the colors are great, but if we uh, see on the whole picture, we cannot uh, identify where where are the dark spots. So we just need to add a bit of the dark uh, strokes. Here everything is great. Uh, the same thing only but um, this line on the top part of the branches I can see uh, just uh, the transition. Just practice some um, lines for better transition from one color to another. The same thing, a bit more of the shadows, the color is okay, uh, the lighter color is okay, yellow, oranges, but you should add a bit of the uh, reds, maybe brown. So here we have the work uh, with the light yellow colors. I see oranges, but the dark color, well, is really so transparent that is uh, almost uh, invisible, almost invisible. So really transparent, uh, dark uh, brown color. And I think it is because of the uh, 
uh, amount of water. Just uh, try not to uh, add too much of the water if you want to make the dark strokes. Again, that's why I think uh, you should add a bit of the shadows here. So the same thing here, some shadows will be nice. So these doors are really great. And I love this one. I love this one. Uh, I can see the shadows. Maybe some strokes uh, in the uh, dark areas. And that's, that's all. That's all. Just some strokes. Maybe two or three. The same thing here. Just add some shadows. Oh, well, this... this <laughs> Sorry, I cannot just rotate it. But again, the same thing. Uh, try to do the um, soft transition from the darkest uh, strokes to the middle strokes. I can see the transition from the lighter areas to the middle areas. It's okay. But uh, the darkest strokes, they are just really like the line, like uh, in a line like form. But they are okay. They are great. Uh, the same thing here. I really love the colors. I really love the lantern and the lightning. Uh, add some dark strokes. I see uh, you have tried. I see that you have added the uh, brown or something like this. But again, it is, well, slightly visible, slightly visible. Uh, just mix the dark color and add a bit. Not too much, just several of them. Uh, so the color is okay. I really love the oranges. I can see the yellow. I can see the branches. They are beautiful. Uh, but if you add some shadow, the leaves, they will be like really three-dimensional. So the same thing here, just some shadows. I can see them here, but again, they are just a, like a line, uh, a dark line on the contour on the edges of the leaves and this uh, just makes some kind of effect of the um, illustration but not like three-dimensional illustration not like three-dimensional leaves like three-dimensional um, well branches and so on uh, if you want to make a three-dimensional effect the same thing, try to make the soft transition from the darker uh, strokes to the middle strokes, to the oranges. You can mix the middle color uh, from the uh, dark brown or dark red color. Try to mix orange plus red and you will get the middle color. You just use it to make the transition. Right on this paper, right on this drawing, just make it uh, in the middle part. Uh, and you will get this transition. You can make it softer as well. I tried to uh, dip the brush on the tissue. Oh, one moment. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to dip uh, the brush on the tissue before painting uh, with it and it helped, but not so dark in one stroke. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, I know that it can be difficult uh, really to um, understand the, uh, well, appropriate amount of water um, and appropriate amount of the paint. Uh, try to make uh, several swatches, try to make, uh, try to use different brushes, actually. It also depends on the brush as well, uh, whether you are using the natural brushes or whether you are using the synthetic brushes, the effect can be dif uh, different and the amount of water can be different, really. It all depends on, well, such well, small things, but they are not small, actually. <laughs> Try to do uh, all this um, practice as well. Uh, I love how much I've learned about the importance of shadows. I really, um, it really makes things pop. Yeah, yeah. If you are showing the shadows, the light parts are also just appearing immediately. So if you have shadow, the lights will also be very visible and interesting. If you don't make shadows, the lights, they just, well, they are unnoticeable. They are nowhere. <laughs> you can't see them. Uh, the same thing here, a bit of the shadows on the leaves. 
and everything will be okay i really love the drawing your doors are really great and the uh, effect of the light here around the lantern they are really nice uh, so I will read maybe two more comments and um, open two more doors, but actually that's the main thing. The um, transition, soft transition from one color to another, from the lighter area to the darker area, uh, using small strokes. And the second one, the shadows. So two main points here on the sketch that I uh, wanted to tell you. Uh, because the other things uh, they are great actually you did great um, yeah the dots on the leaves really helped me uh, the darker uh, yeah uh, the darker values also I work rather slowly so I only did a few sections at a time that's okay just uh, make the drawings um, like you want at your pace it's okay I really love that you are uh, noticing such uh, things and don't be in a hurry don't be in a hurry i've been so surprised that i can do what's a color i've learned uh so much that's great that's really great that's uh, the thing that i wanted you to learn so the basics of what's a color that's really really very nice and i'm really so happy and the same thing here just add some uh shadows on the leaves as well Okay, so I will um, switch the um, screen maybe in uh, one minute and uh, well, just maybe two, two more works I want to show you here. The same thing, you can see the uh, clearly visible uh, reds and browns, but no middle color or uh, slightly visible uh, yellow color try to add the oranges and the yellow color and everything will be okay just a bit more of the um, color the same thing here i really love the transitions really nice yellow orange uh, pink or well any color occur but try to add a bit more shadows just well several dots uh, several strokes and everything will be great <laughs> by the way you also added the apples they are awesome so nice the same thing here add a bit of the shadows and maybe one more i can show you uh, here the same add a bit more of the shadows on the leaves yeah well everything is great here the last drawings they are beautiful um okay so great uh your works are awesome and again i want to thank you for your activity and for your participation in this free course you are a nice students i really love all your works now we have the weekend and we have uh three lessons opened so you can just uh draw everything you want the first lesson with the uh, pumpkin latte cup and the second one uh, the acorns and the third one of course uh, tomorrow i will do the gallery with your works with the third lesson with the door and the leaves and on monday we'll meet again on the live stream of course i will send you notifications and you can find the links also in my bio in my both accounts so uh, see you on monday yeah bye bye happy weekend